Yo, KP Sky here, what's going on to Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm bringing you a really cool video. We are down here in Lexington, Kentucky at Barney Miller's showroom. We crashed the place for a little bit, called Barney up yesterday, it's like, man, you have some really cool equipment in your showroom, and I wanna come down there and film it. And he said, come on in, and let's get you in here. So, great guy, just talked to him a couple minutes ago. We may meet him in this video, but he's a very busy man, as you can imagine, but he's allowed me to come in, make myself at home, and play around with some gadgets. There's some really nice speakers in here. You probably saw some during some of the B-roll that I shot. There's some La Scala's in here, there's some Clips Fortes in here, some Paradigm Founder Series. There's a lot of real nice stuff in here that hopefully I'll get to listen to and tell you guys what I think about them. A lot of times when we, you know, YouTubers don't get a chance to get their hands on the really high-end equipment, but today we're gonna get a chance to play with some of the big boys with the big toys and uh, see uh, what we think about the sound. So without further ado, let's go around the showroom and uh, see what we can find. This room right here. This room represents probably your average home theater, probably your average living room. It's not a very big room necessarily, and they're not very big speakers in here either. We have some Bowers or Wilkins speakers. I have to give them, um, get them to tell me some of the model numbers of everything in here. But we have a Bowers or Wilkins setup in here that's minimalistic, not really big speakers at all, so it'll fit in most anybody's living room. And then we have a JL sub in the corner here, probably a small six and a half inch, maybe eight inch subwoofer there, giving us really good sound. What we're using in here for all of our processing power, all of our amplification, this is actually the Anthem MRX 540. This is the receiver, the new receiver for the new year. I believe this one is the 800XM, I think. No, ES, this is the ES1100. Um, this is the Blu-ray player from Sony here that they're using. Of course, this is how they're controlling their TV, a Crestron um, audio system here. This is controlling all the HDMI switching. And then here's a watt box that's, of course, doing all of your uh, clean power, regulating your voltage, making sure everything's protected. So not a bad setup. This is what you're going to kind of experience in a smaller home theater. You can get really good sound in the small room as long as you treat it well and take care of it. And so what they're advertising in here, they have panels you can put on the wall and match them to the color. So you can see these are really flat panels, probably, what, inch or two thick, but they're really long. And they do a really good well of getting those reflection points, but they match the color of the wall, too. So I know we have wives at home or a spouse at home that doesn't want a lot of this on the wall well you can make it look good you may have to spend a little bit of money on it but you can get it done and then we have some seats here of course that uh, help you uh, feel comfortable when you're watching your movies so this may be one of the most impressive slash most expensive rooms on all of the showroom. We have some Clips La Scala's here in the front that I'm gonna have him play for me because I have not heard him. And a lot of you guys in the comment section told me to listen to these to really tell you guys if I like clip speakers or not. So we're gonna listen to these before I get out of here. And we'll do that on video so you guys can get my reaction. We have all Macintosh here on the front. Amplifiers, pre-amplifiers, CD players, all that stuff is here. Um, I think down there, a, a Sony, uh, I think this is what they use to play all their music. And this is really nice. This is some really high dollar equipment down here, as you can expect. And so all this stuff is really nice. Macintosh, I haven't heard Macintosh amplifiers before either. So I'm very interested in hearing that, but these are what I really want to hear. 
we got some Paradigm Founder Series stuff here, Golden Ear. I don't remember um, all the model numbers. Might be the XLs or XL XXLs. These are phenomenal. I haven't heard them in person, but I know all about them. These are phenomenal speakers that rival Defender Technology for sure. I think these are honestly better. Here is the STR Integrated Amplifier from Anthem. So just really high dollar stuff. But let me show you this. This is a record player cleaner slash vacuum back here. Look at this thing. I didn't know what, I thought this is the size of a really huge amplifier. This is a record player cleaner slash vacuum. Absolutely amazing piece of equipment. And then right next to it are a slew of speakers that I would love to own in my own home. Look at these Paradigm speakers here. Bauer, Bowers and Wilkins here, Eclipse Fortes in the back. And look at this amplifier and, and pre-processor and all that stuff, pre-amplifier right here on this rack. Incredible stuff. I hope I get a chance to hear some of this stuff at least. And then here are some of the smaller speakers here from Bowers and Wilkins, from Paradigm. It seems like Bowers and Wilkins and Paradigm is what this uh, particular store likes to sell. And a lot of JL subs, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So there's some really cool stuff in this room here. And one of the really cool things is the Samsung TV. This is their uh, frame TV that we've heard before that looks like a frame on the wall if you want it to, but they take it an another notch. They have a control panel here that is not only a control panel, but it is motion censored. So when you walk into the room, you can have it set to turn on your TV, which I think is absolutely nuts. And so this TV is really unique because of course, it's a wallpaper top of a TV. So it sits on the wall like a picture frame and you can actually get frames for it. Out of the box, it comes in black, but you can get frames from these guys and have it uh, look how you, how you want to. I think some options of them are down there for color options, very cool. What's really cool, I have to have them show you guys, is the motorized mount that this sits on. So you guys can see we have some seats here and let's say you're sitting down and the TV is just a little too high for comfort, you can actually press a button and have that motorized mount come down and bring the TV down to eye level. I'll have to have them show you that because I've never seen it and supposedly it sells very well. And so maybe that's something you guys would like to have in your own home. So really cool room, has a fireplace that they advertise too. You can have that come on when you walk into the room as well. So really cool technology in here and we're using in ceiling speakers that are angled downwards towards the listener and you have some back there as well and then these are in wall subs here in the not the corners but maybe a quarter of away from the corner there so really nice system in here minimalistic you wouldn't know what's in here until you heard it i really like that now this room here shows off kind of what you can do with the minimalistic side of things if you have a wife or a small room or something maybe a spouse that doesn't want big speakers all over the place in-wall speakers are the way to go. I'm gonna stay back because the TV's on, so I don't wanna make it too loud, but you can have in-wall speakers, of course, right behind the TV, set perfectly so they still give you good audio, and have your insulin speakers as well, and have a full system in here, give you really good home theater-like sound, movie theater-like sound, without you know disturbing the wife or pissing her off because there's black towers sitting everywhere. So that's a really nice uh, touch to things. If you recognize, you guys can see that these grills are painted to match the wall as well. If you guys can take a look, I'll try to get closer to you. you can see that they're painted to match the wall. So no matter what color of the wall you have, you have a, you know, a grill that matches it. So it adds more to the minimalistic look. Now this room has impressed me the most. We did a little demo together and we watched a couple scenes, one from Ford versus Ferrari. This is a full Dolby Atmos system on a Macintosh setup here with Bowers and Wilkins speakers all the way around and two JL 12 inch subs doing all the heavy bass. And this is a kaleidoscope, which I am, thoroughly interested in owning one. We talked about it briefly on the channel before. The Kaleidoscape, I should say, not Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscape is an incredible piece of machinery. If you want to stream your content and stop buying DVDs, this is the machine that I recommend doing it with. It costs you a lot of money, but there are sort of incredible features, incredible features in this thing that it's, I, I may have to walk out with one of these today. It, there, it's an incredible piece of machinery, high, highest quality audio, highest quality video. Um, and, I mean, it's, it's a lot of money, but you get so much for it that I think it may even be worth it. And of course, like I said, Macintosh all the way down and then a Furman um, power conditioner, I believe, or a surge protector, whatever you want to call it. But we did a demo in here, dim the lights. We had some acoustically transparent um, shades here that do more for block and light, but they do help with the acoustics. And we sat in the middle and fantastic sound. The balance in here is ridiculous. Subs blend very well with the speakers. Atmos speakers are present, but they're not too overpowering compared to the rest of the system. The seats are comfortable. So many different options to recline. You guys can see here, you can get risers for them. Instead of getting a huge platform or building your own, you can get uh, risers for each seat and 
raise them up to be higher than the row in front of them without having a huge riser across the floor. You see it's sitting on the floor like normal, and then you put a riser underneath it to raise it. Of course, you can build your own if you're handy, but having it already built and ready to go is really nice. So I'm gonna try to get some demos of this for you guys real quick. This room here is probably one I'll do for you guys. Clips with scholars, I wanna hear those and see if we can't do some paradigm speakers. So let's see who I can bother. <laughs> So we're back in the main room here with a whole Bowers Wilkins setup and JL speakers or subwoofers in the front of the room. And here's a good look at the Kaleidoscape. I'm absolutely impressed with the things that this thing can do. You have a plethora of movies that you can buy right from their hub. They sell the movies right here on the platform. And they have so many cool things that you can do with them um, to make the experience easier. Look how many movies are here ordered from, uh, of course, alphabetical order. You can order them from genre. You can order them from kids movies, comedy, whatever you want to do. And the interface is so nice and easy to use. I really like this. You can go by covers, which looks, this is what you usually see on YouTube. You can go by covers. And let's say I want to watch 1917, right? And I liked it. You can actually, it'll actually fix the screen to show you all movies that are similar or related to the movie you want to watch or just watch. So really cool stuff. There's Hacksaw Ridge. You know that that's my go-to demo. I'm going to put this one on and demo this one for us because I love demoing this in my home theater. So let's see how it sounds on a Bowers and Wilkins home. <laughs> So we just demoed the whole Bowers and Wilkins Dolby Atmos system with the JL subs, all Macintosh over here on the Kaleidoscape. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed this. This is a demo that I'm super familiar with because we do it on every demo at my home. And so hearing it in here was a really cool experience. What I noticed the most compared to mine, I actually like my speakers better than the Bowers and Wilkins. They're pretty equal when it comes to like dynamics and sound quality, um, but there's something about the tweeter that they use versus the tweeter that they use in the Cantons I, I favor a little bit more. And then my Rhythmic G25 HP subwoofer does incredibly well compared to these two JL subs. I believe the JL subs are ported and mine is not, but I still get that same thunder slow bass. So I'm super impressed with my system. But here's where this system, of course, beats mine. One, you have Macintosh everywhere. So you're getting highest quality sound and uh, video processing as well. But it's the Dolby Atmos that really kills it for me because these are placed exactly where you would want your Dolby Atmos to be placed. In the ceiling, angled towards the listener, a little bit in front of you for the front ones, a little bit behind you for the rear ones. And they're, so you're right in the center of this dome of sound, which I am not in my home. And uh, man, I can't compete with the Dolby Atmos levels in here. It sounds so good. And the Macintosh amplifier and preprocessor they're using has so much headroom that the Atmos speakers you know, blend very well with the rest of the system, which I struggle with in my home and most people do in yours. When you have your Atmos speakers on the wall or on top of your bookshelf speakers or your floor chain speakers, you have to have a lot of audio, a lot of volume to reach your ceiling and come back to your head or reach from your wall back to your listening position. But having them placed in the ceiling where they're supposed to be really helps make the sound more cohesive. And that's the big thing about this system, that it's so cohesive. The last thing I'll say is the acoustic treatment. All these rooms are acoustically treated in here, of course, and I can't can't preach enough how important acoustic treatment is for the overall sound quality of your system. You can really up the quality of your system just by putting a few panels on the wall or putting a rug on the floor or getting those reflection points taken care of. You can change your entire system sound with just a couple of those treatments. And so 
kudos to the system in here. I am super jealous. I'm gonna have to get me a Clyde Escape because it is incredible. Um, man, thank you so much, Barney Miller, for letting me come in here and crash the place. All right, guys, so really cool stuff. We're back in the expensive room, we'll call it. And they actually gave me the control. They said, here, man, you just take this, you play a fit, do whatever you want. So we have control over this probably $30,000, $40,000 rack right here. And then some of the scholars next to it. Probably more, to be honest with you. So I have control over all the songs that I want to play. I can just search whatever I want to. And so I'm going to play some songs that I'm familiar with and listen to them and see what I truly think about the scholars. I'm going to move my seat towards the middle and sit in between them so I get a good stereo image. And I'll try to put you guys there, too. And that I'm going to listen to maybe 25 seconds per song, maybe three or four songs. And uh, I'm going to see what these really sound like. And I'll give you a review on these in another video. So let's listen to them real quick. All right, guys. So we're in a paradigm um, Prestige, or excuse me, the Paradigm, yeah, Prestige system here, and we have two Paradigm subs paired with it, and we're using Kaleidoscape again. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo. I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't heard anything in here, so he gave me the remote to this. We're going to take a listen to some movies, or maybe one, because they're closing soon, and uh, let's see what this is all about. So here we go. Hey, grab the beef. not going to do justice for this system. This sounds incredible. Again, Atmos in the ceiling as well. So let me turn this a little bit down, make sure you guys can hear me. But incredible system in here. This is the uh, Persona, so high dollar from Paradigm with their Paradigm subs matched to them. And they're actually using an AVM70, which we are familiar with because I have one at home. And they're using an SDR, um, integrated amplifier. So it's all Anthem in here with Paradigm and Paradigm owns Anthem and vice versa. And so really solid. I mean, it's incredible the dynamics you get in a room that's well done with high dollar speakers. And these are products you can get at home. Like I said, I have the Avian 70 at home, the STR you can get right now. And so these are things that are really obtainable for most people. And uh, you can have something like this in your home for sure. Now maybe the Persona is a little expensive, but these subs and stuff are something you can pick up right now. And then uh, the screen, I don't remember what screen this is, but it, the, the, you can see there's a Sony projector above me that incredible blacks like this is a true setup and I'm absolutely impressed with the dynamics and the headroom that this has. I asked him a question, one of the uh, spokespersons here, and I said, hey, I have the AVM70 at home, but I also have the Monoprice Monolith 7x200 uh, amplifier. I've been thinking about getting an Anthem amplifier instead. Do you think I would notice a difference? And he said, well, you're splitting hairs, but when you spend that kind of money, what you're getting is a uh, giant amounts of headroom at the top levels of volume. So when it comes to really loud uh, volumes, it handles it so much better because they have such a big power supply in there compared to some of the main brand stuff. And then when it comes to super soft listening, the detail still remains there, um, even though it's turned down really, really low. So you don't lose any of the dynamics, um, even if the volume's low. So it's all about the headroom at the top end and the subtle but detailed sound at the low volumes too that main mainstream amplifiers can't do so i don't know maybe i'll have to pick up an anthem amplifier here on the channel we'll have to see we got one. all right guys that's going to do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much to barney miller and the family here for letting me come in and pretty much crash the place took over everything right so we had a lot of fun leave me a comment section down below and let me know out of all the speakers we saw today which ones were your favorite let me know that down in the comment section below and also let me know which showroom we should invade next leave me that comment down below hit that like button subscribe if you are not already and we will see you guys in the next video. K-Pace Guy out. Peace.